Welcome back to another video and I'm coming to you today because my B8A4 is broken again and it's funny what broke the blower motor for like the HVAC system in the car and if you're from like the Chicago land there you know how we just had like the polar vortex whatever whatever and it literally broke the Tuesday and that came on Wednesday and it broke when I was on my way to work but this is not the first time that this is broke this is the second time that it's broke so didn't get to film a video the first time it broke, so I'm gonna do that now, um, and I'm gonna bring you guys along. Um, it's kind of really tight, confined spaces in this small garage, but we're gonna make it do. So, what you need to do this is the bl blower motor itself, which is in this box here. Um, you also need, I believe it's a 10 millimeter uh, socket, because um, you basically have to take the glove box down and it's a crazy convoluted process to do that um so you take that down um this panel right here you also have to take that off which that's pretty easy you can use a screwdriver to get that off and um that's pretty much it so i'm gonna go ahead and get started on it um I, like i said i believe it's a 10 millimeter but if it's not then i'll correct myself later on in the video so i'm gonna go ahead and get started and here we go all right so like i said i was going to correct myself if i was wrong about these being uh 10 mils because they're eight so you're going to want to take all these out there's one here right on the side right out in the open can't miss it and it seems like it doesn't want to come out um i when i first did this i watched a video about how to do this probably like you're doing it like right now if you're watching this video which i hope you're watching this video um the guys in the video said you should want like a snake bit i don't have one of those didn't have one of those when i originally did this and i got by just fine the only thing i will say that you will need um i think i used a hobby knife with a flat edged blade to do it before but like right here the little thing where you connect like your ipod i don't know what this is called actually it says what it's called on it the Audi music interface, the AMI. Um, they're like two little things. You have to pull that out, and there's like, I believe, one um bolt behind that that you have to get at. So just keep that in mind. But there are a bunch of um bolts right along this edge here. Then there are a couple like in the back. You can't really see them. Um, but when you're looking at your glove box, you'll you'll be able to see them. But I'm kind of doing this in very crudely lit area, so I can't really show you that well, but if you were doing this on your own car, you'd be able to see what you were doing. Yeah. And it would probably help if you had like a flashlight. Um, when I first originally did this on my car, I did this during the day um, outside. And it was a lot easier, but there are a lot. And when I tell you a lot of weird bolts and things on this car, like that are in this glove box they're like way at the back so extensions long extensions those are your best friend and uh power tools are also your best friend in a case like this but why isn't my eight fitting on that okay so i got the ami box out um I, what I suggest is, um, I'm sure Audi makes some special tool that you can get that'll do the same thing, but a hobby knife with a flat blade on it for like chiseling works perfectly. And it's probably a lot cheaper than the Audi specific tool to do this. Now, I had left one bolt um, in the glove box because it's pretty loose now. And we're gonna take that last bolt out, obviously, so it doesn't fall on us, so it doesn't fall on us. Um, while we were taking the other bolts out. And there are also two bolts, one here and then one in the opposite corner. So make sure you get those out too. And just like that, the glove box is down. Now there are like millions of wires and things running to the glove box. So I would suggest, oh, and this one here goes in the back of the AMI box. Um, pull it out so you can set the box out and you don't have to deal with it. Um, I would say, let this sit here because this is what we're going after right here and you can easily get to it um no problem so the old motor it just literally twists out so i'm gonna twist it out okay 
So, upon some further research of my own, I found out that you have to take out the resistor too, which is right here. So you're gonna take that out, and I'll tell you what it is. Okay, and there's our blower motor out. Okay, so now the process to get the old one in, it's literally the reverse process of taking it out, which I won't bore you guys with that because you've already seen that. So um, I'll come back at the end of the video, let you know if this one is any louder than stock. This one was a stock one from a part out car. I think it was a B8.5 um, A4. Um, so it was a stock unit. This one is obviously not. It came from Amazon. It was like $50. So um, I'll come back and let you guys know like how this one sounds, how it works, and all that type of stuff. So see you in a bit. All right. Um, we're in the car now. And I'm going to let you guys take a listen to the blower motor so you can see how it sounds. I know that's important to some people. And I will say this one, um, like the Amazon review said, is a bit louder than um, the OEM one. But I don't think it's that bad, especially if you... Um, like listen to the radio or anything while you're in the car which I would think most people probably do but um nonetheless here we go this is it completely off well it's at one as you can see and we'll go up to six and this is what it sounds like at six and this is what it sounds like at twelve I mean obviously like you're getting a lot of the, the noise from it actually blowing but the thing itself is it's louder than stock, but it's it's okay. It's manageable. It's not like it's like a jet engine starting up or something like that. So um, that's gonna do it for this video. If you liked it, go ahead and subscribe. Um, get ready for some more videos, like some videos of that car out there that you guys can't even see. But got some really cool plans coming for that Avant out there, as well as this Corvette here. So uh, get subscribed for those, and uh, that's gonna be it. Thanks for watching. All right, just when I thought I could end this video, I uh, had a bit of a problem. So the blower motor that I replaced earlier in this video actually stopped working. Now, I'm going to have to refer to my phone because I make sure I get the dates right now. Let you guys know exactly when I ordered. It was sometime in February when I ordered that blower motor. And this is important. I'll let you guys know this. I was just going to make this a pinned comment in the comment sections, but... um. I feel like it deserves to be added to the video. So this video now stretches over a few months. But, um, okay, so we're gonna see here when I ordered this blower motor. I ordered the blower motor on February 1st. And on March 29th, I emailed the company that um, did it, this, that there. I emailed them saying that it had stopped working. February 1st to March 29th. Now, when I emailed them, they um, said they'd ship me out one and they shipped me out one the same day. Here's the replacement here. Now, I just wanna let you guys know this, which I will put a link to the description, like put a link in the description to this exact one that I got. So maybe you might not wanna order this. Um, and since like doing my little research and all that, after this happened to me, I saw some people in the comments saying that theirs only lasted six months. Mine was less than that. So um, I am gonna put this one in the car. Here's hoping that it doesn't break again in a month. And I don't have to do this. I even thought about just saying, see that they would give me a refund, but they didn't really want to do that. I asked about that. They weren't really, it was more so, oh, let's just ship you another one. And that's how that went. So uh, that's that. But I'm going to go ahead and install this in the car. I'm not going to like make you guys sit through that. I just wanted to let you know it did go out. I had to drop the glove box and all that fun stuff all over again. And that's, that's, that's really that. So... This is finally gonna be it for this video. Um, like I said previously, uh, look out for some videos on the Avant. Uh, just did uh, oil change in that, so I'm gonna show you guys how to do that. Really weird situation with oil change on that car. So uh, be on the lookout for that. Not sure if that'll come out before or after this video. Um, it'll just come out, hopefully. At least it's not another Adam's mystery box unboxing. Um, so that's gonna be it. Thanks for watching. Um, get subscribed for more videos on this car, the Avant, and that Corvette back there that you guys still really have yet to see. And thanks for watching.